Hey guys, I have been promising to do this for a long time and I just never got around to it. So I'm finally getting it done. This is just a quick tutorial for how to change the weather patterns to your liking in Skellige Winter Weather System so that you don't have to ask me to do it because I won't. Uh, first you need Wolven Kit if you don't have it already. Anybody who mods Witcher 3 has it. Um, if you are not an existing modder and you just are trying to get into it, make sure you get Wolven Kit. I'm putting the address in the um, video description. You want the latest version, 0.7.0.3. Download it, set it up. That's a separate tutorial, although it's very easy. You just need to direct it to the right path. Uh, you can look up how to do that somewhere else. Once you have Wolven Kit, open it up, create a new project. Winter tutorial. Once your project is open, you want to go to Lexar mode right here. Go to Bundle, then find Mod Skellige Winter Weather, Engine, Environments, and then the CSV file, double click it, and then Add Marked Files to Mod. Now, if you have conflicting CSV files, um, Make sure you pick the right one for Skellige Winter Weather System. Once it's imported, you can go here. I do not use Wolven Kit to edit CSV files. I use Notepad++, which you should definitely use to open any sort of CSV script files for Witcher 3. Makes life easier. Uh, now here you'll see all of the weather patterns that I created for this mod. Uh, up here, this will explain to you what you're looking at. So first you've got the name, the weather pattern name. So if you type it into the console, you know, change weather, fog 2, that's what you're looking at. The probability, self-explanatory, that's the odds that it will happen, the amount of times it will happen. Wind scale is how windy it is and that also affects the water. Blend time is how well it blends in, you know, how slow the transition is from one weather to the next, so that it doesn't just jump magically from sunny to snowy, uh, and so on. That's really all you need to know right now. Actually here, occurrence time is uh, how long it lasts for. So, Let's say you don't like the fact that I made lots of snowy weathers and you want it to be clear more of the time. You go to this, this section here and you can change the probability. I have it set very low to 0.2. You could change it to a much higher number. Experiment with it. Make your own decision about it. Um, just see what works for you. But changing this number, the second number, the second entry, will uh, determine how often that weather occurs. And then here, corresponding to the list of notes up here, this is the length of time, the duration. I think it's in seconds. It's been a while since I've done this. But uh, yeah, so this is the amount of time it lasts for. If you want the clear weather to last for a long time, obviously make it higher. If you want it to be shorter, make it lower number. And that's pretty much all you need to know about that. Um, it's the same thing for everything else. If you want more flurry weather, change the probability here. It's 0.6. You could make it higher. If you want flurries to last for a shorter or longer amount of time, change this number. And for anyone asking about blizzards, where is it? Here. Blizzard is right here. I have it set to a very, very low probability because it affects visibility severely. And um, I like the blizzards, but I also like them to be rare and short so as not to make it impossible to play the game. If you want blizzards to occur more often, then just change this number, make it higher, make it 0.5 or 6 or one if you want lots of blizzards. 
Uh, and then if you want the blizzards to last for longer, again, I made them very short, so you could change this to something longer that kind of reflects the numbers used for the other weather patterns, like so. Once you make whatever changes you want, and if you want to do things like get rid of the foggy weathers, like just fog, or there's too much fog, you can just delete these, right? Like highlight everything related to fog one and two, and it's gone. <laughs> um, when you make your changes, when you're done, obviously save it. I shouldn't have to tell you how to save. I assume anybody with a computer knows how to save. Uh, and once it's saved, make sure it's this is not overwriting it. Uh, save here. Uh, sometimes it does that. Just pr it, it's actually better to quit <laughs> and reopen it when that happens. Um, but it doesn't matter because your uh, CSV file is already saved on its own, separately outside of Woven Kit. So. Anyway, when you're done, make sure you've saved it, and then this button, Pack and Install, you do click that, click OK, it'll run through its notes here, it'll tell you when it's done, and when it's done you will have something called Mod Winter Tutorial in your Witcher 3 Mods folder and then you should go to script merger and make sure you give your mod priority over Skellige Winter Weather System so that uh, it's reading, the game is reading your CSV file and using that over the one that I made and that way it will reflect your own personal changes. Also just a quick note, these, uh, just ignore these these are for specific scenes, these are vanilla weather codes that you should not be using on your own. These are not... Um, I set the probability to all these to zero so that they don't actually occur, but I don't want to mess with them <laughs> by removing them completely. So just leave them alone and only use blizzard to clear. And that's it. And then you're done. Then you can have Skelligan Winter Weather System reflect your own preferences. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, and enjoy. Happy modding.